doesn't sound ridiculous, but Zoe, who's six months old, and Josephine, who's nine months old, are already brilliant in the water. In fact, humans are born with the ability to swim. No one has taught these babies to swim underwater. What they're doing is totally instinctive, and it's helped out by something going on inside them called the mammalian dive reflex. You have this reflex too. And so do sea mammals, like these seals. They can stay underwater for an impressive 30 minutes. Humans, though, lose this reflex by the time we're six months old. But some extraordinary people train themselves to use their mammalian dive reflex into adulthood. Today's brilliant body belongs to George Miller, the six-time national freediving record holder. Freediving is swimming deep underwater while holding your breath without any breathing equipment. George's body can do this because she's trained for 11 years. So prepare to be amazed, but please leave this kind of diving to the experts. How long can you hold your breath for? I can hold my breath for a little bit over seven minutes. That is completely crazy. Do you think you could get me close to seven minutes? <laughs> Eventually, maybe not today, but we can definitely improve you. Okay, fantastic. We're gonna see how long you can hold your breath for. Okay. This will give George an idea of how well Zand uses his lungs to breathe. You did one minute 27, which is amazing for the first time. Impressive, Zand. I'm quite pleased with myself about that. I think we can do better. Really? Yes. Freedivers learn how to use something that we call a three-part breath, a diaphragmatic breath. So if you put one hand on your tummy and one hand on your chest, the first part of the breath comes from the belly. And then the chest. And then just let it all fall out. So hold your breath. The trick is to use your diaphragm, the muscle under the lungs, to take in as much air as possible before you hold your breath. You did 2.17. Really? That's amazing. So that's almost a minute more. Yeah. So Zahn's got the breathing technique down. Now he needs to do it while freediving underwater. Now, safety is the most important thing, and I can only do this because I'm surrounded by professionals. So never, ever practice on your own, even in the bath. Before he goes underwater, Zand uses George's deep breathing technique. His mammalian dive reflex is triggered once his face touches the water. How long was I under for? You were down there for 30 seconds. But for that 30 seconds, I was like a seal. <laughs> Zand held his breath longer on land because when swimming in water, his muscles needed oxygen. But practice makes perfect. OK, here we go. Instinctively, Zand's body knows he's not breathing, so it prioritises sending blood to his brain and his heart. This allows him to swim even deeper. Amazing work, Zand. Dive two was a massive improvement. Seven metres down, 41 seconds. The most amazing thing about today is that what George has been able to show me is that my body is capable of doing things that I had no idea it could. And that's all thanks to the mammalian diving reflex. Can I have the next patient, please? Back at the Ouchmobile are brothers 10-year-old William and 8-year-old Callum. So, William, Callum, what if you come to the Ouchmobile? Because we've got bendy fingers and we can stick our shoulder blade out. What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds like a case of we've got bendy fingers and I can stick my shoulder blade out. Itis! Easy for you to say. So, William, can you open up the eyelid on the Ouch can? OK, now let's have a look. So that's amazing. Both Callum and William have got what we call hypermobile joints, meaning they've got a bigger range of motion than most other people do. So, William, can we have a look at your shoulder blades? Oh, wow. So put it back and then pop them out again. So can you do the same thing, Callum? Yes. Have you got any questions about that for me? Why can we do it? The reason that you can do it is probably because you've got very stretchy collagen. And collagen 
is the molecule that holds your whole body together. It's your body's equivalent, really, of elastic bands. So some people are held together by, if you like, very strong elastic bands, and then you guys are held together by much more stretchy elastic bands. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. William, Callum, thanks very much for bringing your amazing bodies to the Ouchmobile. It was great, thanks. Did you know you have around 4,000 tendons in your body? And the strongest one is in your foot. Wow, that's amazing! Ouch. Today, we're looking at how strong your tendons are. Now, to get us started, I brought us something very, very flexible. My friend Kika. Hi, Dr Chris. Hi, Kika. Now, you should never try to fold yourself into a box. Kika does this all the time. She's a professional contortionist and a world champion gymnast, which means she has an extremely flexible body, as you can see. Some people are more flexible than others. I pr pr pretty much got it. It's just that I didn't really warm up properly. Mm. OK, Zand. As you can see, Kika's back is super bendy. She's able to bend like this thanks to the flexible and super strong tendons in her back. That is amazing! Thanks, Kika. <laughs> 14 point six six seconds. Oh, really? So I've just run 100 metres in 14 point six six seconds, which, if I'm honest, is a bit below average, but there are some amazing athletes out there who can move their bodies at incredible speed, and their bodies are brilliant. Meet Britain's fastest 12 year old, Lily. Her 100 metres personal best is 12.91 seconds. And she has won a lot of medals. My <laughs> medal! <laughs> What is it about you that is making you so fast? Well, I think it's down to the genes of the family. I mean, mm -hmm. my, my nan was good at it, she was good at sprinting. My dad, he was a good footballer, and my mum as well. OK, so you've inherited genes from your mum's side and your dad's side that have meant that your muscles are full of very fast-moving fibres. Yeah. OK. When Lily runs, she generates power by lifting her knees high and striking her legs down hard. But it's not just what we can see on the outside that's making Lily lightning quick. It's all to do with the fast twitch fibres in her muscles. Muscles are made up of different fibres. You have fast twitch and slow twitch. Slow twitch fibres are good for endurance. Fast twitch fibres are for rapid movements and they respond three times faster. As a naturally fast runner, Lily has more fast twitch fibres than the average person, making her super speedy. Lily's been born with a natural advantage, but so have lots of other people, and they don't all become professional sprint athletes. So what's the extra ingredient that's needed to become one of the fastest people on the planet? To find out, I'm meeting a gold medal winning brilliant body. This is Team GB hockey star Shonen McAllen, MBE. She was part of the gold medal winning team at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Like Lily, Shona's got lots of fast twitch muscle fibres making her fast, but there's more to her speed skills than that. What is it that sets you apart, that's taking you to that level where you can win an Olympic gold medal? Obviously you need to have raw talent, but what takes you to the next level is the mental side of it, the determination to be the best hockey player that you can be. Can you show me a few skills? I'll try. This is a stick, turn around and run back. We're okay. going to do that three times, see who wins. Ready, set it go! I must win this. I must win this. I'm not going to win this, am I? How did I get so far behind in such a short space of time? Starting to see why you have an Olympic gold medal and I don't. So how many times do you train each week? Usually I train about ten times a week. It's a lot of training. I've got faster as I've got older because that's something I've worked on. If you practice something again and again and again, you're going to get better. The speed Lily and Shona generate is amazing. They've both got lots of fast twitch fibres in their muscles, giving them rapid bursts of energy. But mental strength and determination is needed too, so they can become top of their game. Can I see your gold medal? OK, then. Can I try it on? Yeah. Suits you. It does suit me, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Well, I am going to head home and put my feet up because I've earned it. Oi, Chris, that's my medal. Whiz, the home of ABCs, 1, 2, 3s and all your favourite kids' TV characters. Now let's find kids' TV. Or I can press this microphone. Whiz, that's how easy it is. <laughs>